Welcome to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Uh, first of all, uh, a quick announcement. Um, I know I mentioned this before, but I'll mention it once again. This is the August-September 2022 issue of Shelf Life. Uh, it's available at lo local stores. It's free. Um, I'm hearing that uh, some of the stores are out of copies. People are picking them up. And I'm glad to see that they are still available at Attic Books in London City Lights Bookshop, Brown and Dixon on Richmond Street, and the Real Canadian Superstore, and also at the Oxbury Mall. So um, if you haven't got a copy yet, go out and grab the latest edition of Shelf Life. It's free, and uh, it's got 28 pages and 55 book reviews. So there you go. That's my little plug. Now to the books. Uh, this time out, I'm bringing to your attention two great fiction reads that I hope you will add to your must-buy reading lists or purchasing lists. Uh, the very first one is Tessa Goes Down by Jason Bobberg. This is published by Dark Highway Press and it retails for $18.99. And um, Dark Highway Press is an independent press and thank goodness for independent presses because they let us see um, writers who we might not otherwise see. And thankfully, uh, they published this book because it is a great book. Uh, it is like an, a noir style mystery thriller, uh, one of those books you won't be able to put down. It revolves around Floyd Tillman Weathers, who um, is not the most honest of people. He is a bank robber, and he has a duffel bag full of money, and he's waiting for instructions from his boss as to where to take the money to. He's sitting in a bar, and into that bar suddenly walks Tessa Ray Jane. Uh, she's uh, a young girl, I think she's 15, and um, she is, um, well, she's on the run. Uh, she burned down the house of someone who is, well, she thought was the drug boss, and who was in the house and who died was the drug boss Harlan's mother. So now she's on the run sort of and she meets up with Floyd so the two of them um, uh, there's an instant attraction and so he becomes sort of like her protector and so they head out and well not too far away from them are the bad guys they're coming for revenge um, because Tessa is a marked woman and so um, Soon, the two, Floyd and Tessa, must fend for, th for themselves, and in the motel room, uh, they kill a man, one of the people who has come to, um, well, hurt them. Let's put it that way. So, anyways, it starts a wild cross-country chase, but at one point, Tessa is abducted by two of the people who Harlan has sent, and uh, Floyd doesn't think he'll ever see her again. Well, Tessa is pretty streetwise. Um, she can fend for herself and she comes up with ingenious ways to finally get away and long story short Floyd and Tessa do reunite and um, he um, heads for home and he find and finds out that there's a lot going on that the family has been uh, well they're trying well they've tied up the family um, they're almost starving them to death they're on intravenous and it becomes a real wild story as Harlan heads down there for the ultimate confrontation and every page has got something really exciting going on with um, Floyd and Tessa you well they're two characters that you totally love and um, you know you, you know well you hope they're going to get out of the situation and uh, there's quite a confrontation at the end with violence guns whatever and uh, but do they all live happily ever after? The ending, I've got to admit, in a way sort of disappointed me, but I'm not going to say why. Uh, I wanted to see more books with these two characters, but, and that's all I'll say. But let's just say, if you go down to your bookstore, pick up Tessa Goes Down, because it's definitely a book that is most memorable. It's a book in the noir style of classic mystery fiction. And you certainly cannot go wrong with adding this book to your collection. And the second book of note is The Photographer by Mary Dixie Carter. 
This is published by Minotaur Press and it retails for $37.99. This is a debut novel. Mary Dixie Carter has written a most interesting book. It, um, it plays out in a way that you don't think it's going to play out. Um, the main character is Delta Dawn. Yes, Delta Dawn. That was a song that Helen Reddy did back in the 70s. And uh, that's the character's name. She leads a rather unassuming life. And um, she becomes a photographer. And this family, the Straubs, uh, invite her to be the photographer for their daughter Natalie's 11th birthday party. So she shows up and she starts taking picture. Now the two parents are Amelia and Fritz. And uh, Natalie takes an instant liking to Delta. And she, um, well they bond and Amelia feels comfortable with having Delta come and babysit for Natalie. And um, when Delta is in their house, she sort of um, want, almost wants to make it her own. She wants to shower there in the tub to, to have an intimate connection with the family. So it's almost like there's a deep underlying psychosis um, and you wonder whether she's going to go totally psycho. Now she lives in a fantasy world and um, as they become closer the family um, trusts her to spend more time with Natalie and Natalie uh, she's like a mother figure to her in many ways and uh, but what happens is Fritz and Amelia um, Amelia cannot conceive any more children so they hire or they hire well they get a surrogate and her name is Lucia and she agrees to she, well she's pregnant and she agrees to have um, to give the baby to the Straubs when she gives birth and there's a lot of back and forth but uh, Delta does not want Lucia to be um, a surrogate mother because she doesn't want her to bond with the family. She would rather be the one that stays bonding. So she plants a few seeds and eventually Lucia and her boyfriend get back together. So of course the family's disappointed but Delta comes up with the idea that she can be the surrogate mother for the for the child and she will give birth and that will bond her even more. Now in the meantime um, Delta has all these crazy fantasies. She does a lot of photoshopping of uh, pictures with her in bed with uh, Fritz, um, her in bed with Amelia, like a threesome, and she, she gets a little over the top, almost like her world has meshed into their world. And uh, with the ultimate confrontation that the family realizes that Delta is a little bit psychotic, and um, although she's pregnant, she says that she loses the baby. And so, but I won't tell you what exactly happens because that would give away the ending. But let's just say it's a most interesting conclusion. And Delta Dawn is definitely a character that is um, psychotic, but you have to feel sorry for her. She also has a son called Jasper, and she has a boyfriend, Ian who discovers maybe Jasper, the pictures of Jasper are not who he really is. So it's almost like her fantasy world is becoming overpowering and we don't know what's fantasy and what's reality. So um, if you want an interesting book, the photographer is definitely picture perfect. So those are the two books I wanted to draw to your attention this time out. Hopefully you will consider them very seriously when you make your book purchases. So. Thank you for your time and watching my video. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay social distancing, and do stay in touch. Bye for now.